I'm not here to preach to anybody. I say in order for us to get better as individuals, me and you, we got to start with one person. Who's that person we got to start with? Thank you. Ourselves. The person in the mirror. And that's what I would like to do with myself this morning with you. I would like to start with myself and share a little bit with you. I say the road to perfection requires inward reflection. And I'll start with this. How many of you know what kind of airplane this is or does right here? Anybody? T6 Texan, that's right. What was it designed to do? What was its primary purpose? It was a trainer, that's right. It trained fighter pilots of World War II, and um, that airplane was built back in the 1940s, and I had the opportunity to fly that antique to air shows up and down the East Coast, and the guy that would go with me, every single air show, is the guy that's sitting in the back of the airplane back there with me. That's my brother. His name is Johnny. We take a quick shortcut. And nothing happens. In essence, what we're doing, see, and we don't realize it, is we're showing those around us how easy it is to break the rules and still live. We're showing them, oh, I know what they're teaching you in training. I know all that. But out here, let me show you how we can get it done. And if we're not careful, over time when we repeat that behavior, NASA calls this normalization of deviancy. And the guy on the other end of the line, he said, Jeff, there's been an accident catastrophic engine failure. He said the, the pilot was trying to glide the airplane down, engine out, and they didn't make it. Two fatalities. I lost my brother and a good friend just like that. If you can touch just one, if you can inspire just one to rethink their work behavior in the field, you might save a piece of equipment, you might save a limb, you might save a life. 